Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mid Morning Manna coming to you from the auditorium here at North Harrison Baptist Church in Ramsey, Indiana. Hope you'll stop in sometime and visit with us. And today I want to talk about on this Monday, Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's not Thanksgiving. This is this is Sweetheart Day. This is Valentine's Day. And we're just going to go forward with it right now. And uh, just stay tuned. I'll, I'll figure out where I am and what day it is in just a little while. But I want to talk about the family under attack. I'm I'm talking about, I, I want to talk about whatever happened to love, what, what happened uh, to the home, to the family, what's happening to the children that are growing up in these families where divorce is rampant. And uh, last century, the divorce rate, uh, let me read you this thing that I wrote down here. Last century, the divorce rate rose over 700%. In 1960, there were 393,000 divorces. Now there are over 1.2 million per year. Now there's one, one divorce for every 1.8 marriages. Over 1 million children in America will be involved in a divorce case this year. Over a million boys and girls. You wonder why kids are growing up and they, they don't have moral values, they don't have character, they don't know what's right and wrong. And the, ladies and gentlemen, I believe children need mom and dad together to raise those children in a home that's full of love and, uh, and, and biblical principles to raise the children by. But currently, every 13 seconds, 600, Six, uh, I'm sorry, in, in, there, there was a divorce every 13 seconds. I've got to get back reading my paper here. 6,646 per day, 2.4 million per year. And whether or not you've suffered through divorce, my goal is to strengthen your family and have a success with your present family, whatever that happens to be. And folks, I'm telling you, we are in trouble in America with the homes. And the homes is the foundation for rearing of the children. Wonder why teens have, uh, most teens or many teens have very low moral values. Wonder why other things seem to be going, uh, going wrong, going in wrong directions. I wanna tell you, a big part of it is because of the instability of the family. It's because of the divorce. It's because the love of the family is not there. Whatever happened to love. I'm going to give you, uh, today I'm giving you this introduction, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I want to give you four specific reasons or four ways to increase the marital love in your home. And they're so important. And it's something that you can do. And I hope that maybe uh, you'll save this and play it later when both husband and wife are there, watch it together, then talk about it a little bit. See if you can come to some conclusions. See if you can spot some, some danger zones where you are and ask God to straighten it out and to help you have the victory that only he can give. Well, it's a, a wonderful thought and a wonderful idea. And in Ephesians chapter five, verse 21, the Bible says this, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. You know, we talk about wives submit to your husbands, husbands love your wives, the, all this kind of thing. But the Bible says submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Because for those of you in Christian homes, I'm talking to pastors, I'm talking to, I'm talking to laymen, I'm talking to deacons, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to Sunday school teachers. You, it's just amazing how many homes of people that say that they're saved and serving God, and yet they can't even keep their family together. And I'm not fussing at you. I'm not making accusations. I'm just saying, let me give you some principles that'll keep it from happening, or at least keep it from happening again if you've already been down that road. I believe God wants to do a work in the lives, in the homes, in the families of America and really around the world. Uh, we have several folks from several different uh, nations in the, uh, that have, have texted us and written us and, and have said, hey, we saw this program and uh, in some cases I think made a difference and helped them a great deal. And uh, we want to be a blessing. We want to encourage you. We want to give you some building blocks for your home, for your family, and it all is about love. On Monday, this, this Monday, this this sweetheart day, Valentine's Day, I hope you will have the happiest home you've ever had over the next year, that you'll grow in grace and be what God wants you to be. Well, let's pray together 
and then uh, we'll be gone. We'll have a song. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the families in our, in our church and in the other churches. And I thank you, Lord, for the pastors and their families. I thank you, Lord, for uh, the, the, the people across America that have good, strong homes, good, strong families, where the love is, is vibrant and strong and exciting. And uh, Lord, I pray that you'll bless those homes, bless the children in those homes, the little kids, the, the elementary kids, the teenagers, all along the way, Lord, just help us to reach, uh, to make a difference in the lives of, the, of the God's people. And then, Lord, I pray that if there's anyone that's not saved, they'll be saved. And I also pray that you will help men, women, boys, and girls to understand that, yes, there are difficulties in life, but we don't have to yield to them. We can overcome them. Homes can succeed. They can overcome obstacles. They can over, overcome differences. They can become what you want them to be. And I pray you to help. In Jesus' name, amen. sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry.